Hello, thanks for reading the Test Automation Guru blog. So far, we have seen how to send results to InfluxDB. Now, we will be using Grafana to visualize the data. I am accessing my local host Grafana instance at port 3000. I am logging in with my username and password. The very first step would be to add a data source. So go to configuration, data source, add new data source. My database type is um, InfluxDB. I'm going to give some logical um, configuration name for this, so which is going to be InfluxDB. My InfluxDB REST API is, um, is accessible at port 8086 so i'm giving the url as http localhost 8086 which will be accessible from the browser my database name is selenium i do not have any username and password set up so i'm going to leave those fields as it is so let's save and test so everything seems to be working fine which is great so at this point you should be seeing this so the next step would be to uh, create a dashboard. So let's create a pie chart first. Our aim here is to show the test methods count based on the status like passed, failed, skipped. So let's edit this chart. The data source would be um, in FluxDB in our case. Um, if you remember, there are two measurements. One is test class, the other one is method. So um, we would like to um, access a, a test method measurement. Um, there is no where condition here because I would like to show all the methods count um, based on the status. So let's the only field which we could select is duration because that is the only field we are logging right now. So we want to use the aggregate function count. We want to show the count. So let's remove all the group by information because we would like to group by um, the result. So looks like our aggregate function got disappeared. Let's add one that once again. Okay, so everything looks fine here. Uh, we are not seeing any um, data here. This is because of the selected duration, which is last six hours. So um, my test was ran the day before yesterday so why select that now you are seeing something here which is good so pass 7 skip 2 fail 1 this is as expected so let's give some title for the panel test methods count by status so this is fine So let's save this. Let's give some name for it. Test execution metrics. So I'm giving the some. I gave some name for uh, the dashboard. So under the dashboard, you might be. You, you could have um, a number of um, panels like this. So let's let's create a new panel. Uh, let's create a graph panel this time. Now um, our aim here is to show the methods duration on a daily basis. So let's edit this. The data source would be always in FluxDB in our case. Um, again, we are going to um, query test method measurement. This time let's uh, select some var class. I am interested in only a specific class um, sample test. And I would like to show the duration. I don't want to use any aggregate function, so let's remove this. I also remove all the group by information. I would like to group by method name. So 
currently it shows only one day data but uh, i would like to show that data on a daily basis so for the last seven days what happened so something like this so now so it shows the last seven days data actually let's give some name title name for this so test methods duration is fine so it assumes that the y-axis is just some number so but we know that it's actually a time so it's in milliseconds so let's select time milliseconds so oops, sorry. okay so Grafana automatically converts that into seconds everything else looks okay to me so let's select the points Now you see the test method duration um, on a daily basis, 19th, 20th, 21st, etc. So that you can compare the which method took um, the, the maximum amount of time and you could compare. So which would help you to uh, debug or uh, your, some of your uh, test methods. In our case um, this is a very simple case so we are we are having only one test class and which is having only five methods so um, but in your case you might be having hundreds of test classes and you might be having thousands of test methods so you might not want to um, fit all the information in one chart you might sometimes we might need um, some um, the some flexibility just to select a, a specific um, methods um, we like to see, see the, the duration of only specific method so let's give us that ability so for that grafana um, allow, allows us to create some variables let's go to settings variables and variable the data source would be always in flexdb and um, the name of the variables method I'm giving some name so you can give any name you want so this is the actual variable name and this is the display name in the UI so I'm giving the same name here with the same name so I'd like to refresh the data whenever the dashboard loads so what are the possible options to be shown for this um, label so we would like to show all the tag values from test method class with key name okay so these are the methods so I'd like to sort it alphabetically sometimes uh, I might want to select more than one method name so uh, I want I need the ability so I select multi-value sometimes I might want to select all so let's give that that selected option as well so add it and you should be seeing here so you can select any specific method you want so that the data the this chart refreshes and shows only this uh, that corresponding um, the data let's update this chart let's go and edit here the var class I am selecting the name of the method as this variable this is the name of the variable we have given so let's select this so if you go back now it shows the data only for the book method now you might want to compare login and logout so select both so now it shows the data for both login and login method and if you want to select all you can select all 